हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंडस्ट्रियल फ्लूड पावर सो दिस चैनल कंटेंट्स वीडियो लेक्चर्स मेड बाय मी ऑन दिस हाइड्रोलिक्स एंड निमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट माय नेम इज सी के पुराणिक प्रोफेसर इन सेनगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग पुणे आई एम ऑथर टू टेक नी योर पब्लिकेशन आई हैव रिटर्न सेवरल बुक्स ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट टिल नाउ आई हैव कंप्लीटेड नियरली फिफ्टी वीडियोस एंड टू कंप्लीट दिस सब्जेक्ट फिफ्टी मोर वीडियोस आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डू द वीडियोस आई नीड मोटिवेशन प्लीज गिव सम लाइक्स कॉमेंट्स विथ गुड वर्ड्स एंड शेयर द वीडियोज अमंग युअर फ्रेंड सर्कल एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन वेन आई एड any new video thank you we shall proceed to the today's topic okay we shall understand about cascading between two double acting cylinders cascading means sequencing in operation we are getting sequential operation of two cylinders in this example i am taking hydraulic circuit that is we will operate two hydraulic cylinders in sequence sequential operation of two hydraulic cylinders is required as follows so we give the sequence first cylinder a should extend and then second cylinder b should extend third cylinder b should retract and fourth cylinder a should retract develop hydraulic circuit using pilot operated 4 by 2 direction control valve and roller operated valves do not use sequence valves we can use sequence valves to operate uh, cylinders in sequence but that is so in sequencing circuits in cascading circuits we don't use sequence valve instead we will use pilot operated 4 by 2 valve and roller operated limit valves we can draw hydraulic circuits or pneumatic circuits also but in this question they have asked to draw the hydraulic circuit we will draw the hydraulic circuit in this example we shall understand that problem there are two cylinders cylinder a and cylinder b first sequence is cylinder a should extend okay we will supply oil to a part of the cylinder a cylinder a will extend after that cylinder b should extend so we will supply a part of this cylinder b we will supply hydraulic oil to a part of the cylinder b b will extend and then the cylinder b should retract this cylinder b should retract now we will supply hydraulic oil to b port this port of the cylinder b cylinder b will retract and then cylinder a should retract after that cylinder a will retract for which we have to supply hydraulic oil to b port of the cylinder a if i take so this is the sequence they have given and symbolically we will represent a plus for cylinder a extends b plus for cylinder b extends b minus for cylinder b retracts a minus for cylinder a retracts if it is extending we will uh, give the symbol plus if it is re retracting we will give the symbol minus a and b are the two cylinders now a plus b plus b minus a minus is the sequence we require in this example so that sequence is here okay this is that sequence a plus b plus b minus a minus likewise we can have so many different combinations okay and we can arrange in proper way okay there are basically two types we can have a b a b type sequence or a b b a type sequence in case of a b a b type sequence first cylinder will extend and second cylinder will extend and the first cylinder comes back after that the second cylinder will come in case of a b a b type sequence first cylinder will perform its stroke and afterwards second cylinder will perform its stroke after that so on the first cylinder is taken back and then the second cylinder will come back but in case of a b b a type sequence first cylinder will perform its stroke and then second cylinder will perform its stroke and in the reverse the second cylinder will come first and then the first cylinder will come back so that is the type of sequence so whatever be the sequence we have one method okay we will perform that method we will follow that method so that we will uh, solve this exam we shall go through the procedure first step is get ready with the sketch this is the sketch cylinder a and cylinder b cylinder a its head end port its rod end port cylinder b its head end port and rod end port and head end port is marked as a plus rod end port is marked as a minus here also 
in cylinder B, head end port is marked as B plus, rod end port is marked as B minus. That is, when we supply oil to this port, cylinder will extend. So that's why we mark it as A plus. A plus means cylinder A extends. If I supply oil here, cylinder A will extend. If I supply oil here, cylinder will retract. That's why we will uh, mark it as A minus. And here also, if I supply oil to this port, cylinder B will extend. So that's why we mark it as B plus. And if I supply oil here, cylinder B will retract. So that's why we mark, we mark it as B minus. And we shall mark the position of this cap. So this position is retracted position. When the cylinder A is retracted, then the cam will be in this position. That's why we will mark this position as A0. By the end of extension of this cylinder A, the cam will reach this position here. So this position will be A1. In the same way, B0 and B1 are the two end positions of this cam. B0 is retracted position. B1 is extended position. And we shall draw four, one, two, three, four, four roller operated spring return type three by two valves. Okay. It has three ports, inlet port, outlet port and the exhaust port. If it is pneumatic circuit, then from here the compressed air is exhausted. But we are drawing hydraulic circuit. That's why we will show the reservoir tank symbol here. When the cylinder is in retracted position, okay, that is when the cam is in A0 position, this valve is pressed by this cam. Once the cylinder extends, by the end of extension, the cam will press the other valve. So likewise, here also, this cam is going to operate these two valves during extension and retraction. Okay, so to draw the circuit diagram, first we should draw this much. So this much is common for any type of sequence. After this, the next step is we have to prepare a table like this. Okay, in this table, four columns are there. Okay, first column is the sequence one, two, three, four. Okay, and the second column is stroke. First sequence, which stroke? Second sequence, which stroke? Likewise, here. A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus. This is the sequence we need. So we have to write A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus. After that, the, in the third column, we have to specify the end position of that stroke. See, this is A plus. Means cylinder A is extending. Once the cylinder A extends, okay, the cam reaches this position. So this position is A1. Okay. If the cylinder retracts, then A minus then the position will be A0. That is, A plus, then uh, once the cylinder A extends, I will get the position A1. B plus, the position is B1. B minus, the position is B0. A minus, the position is A0. Okay. The cam will reach that position after that stroke. So that we have to mention here. A plus means the end position is A1. B plus means the end position is B1. B minus, end position is B0, A minus, end position is A0. And then in the fourth column, I have to specify the valves, which valve we have to operate, which valve will be pressed by the cam. So here we will take, okay, V2, V3, V4, V1 likewise. Okay, in the first stroke, by the end of the first stroke, valve V2 is pressed. Second operation will start. By the end of that stroke, Second stroke, valve V3 is pressed. The third stroke will start. By the end of that third stroke, valve V4 is pressed. And the fourth stroke will start. By the end of that fourth stroke, V1 is pressed. So that the first stroke will start again. This is the sequence. In this table, so this first column is common for any type of circuit. And fourth column is also common for any type of circuit. Okay. And the second column and third column contents will change according to this sequence which is given. The third step here, we have to locate the valves here. Okay. Previously, valves are not named here, isn't it? So we are going to name the valves, which is V1, which is V2, which is V3, which is V4. Okay. So for which, we shall group here. The first row here, A1 and V2. Means, we have to mark V2 at... E1 position. So this 
so this is a1 position the valve in that position is v2 and v3 in b1 position okay so b1 position this is b1 position mark here as v3 was v4 in b0 position this is b0 position you write v4 and valve v1 at a0 position this is a0 position mark this valve as v1 likewise we are going to name the valves in next step we are going to give numbers of the sequence here 1 2 3 4 we want to give numbers okay for which we will group these two here sequence and stroke mark 1 at a plus mark 2 at b plus mark 3 at b minus mark 4 at a minus okay likewise so this is a plus here you mark 1 and after that the next stroke is b plus mark 2 at b plus and third stroke is b minus mark 3 at b minus and fourth stroke is a minus mark 4 at a minus this is a minus i will mark here 4 so after this we have to make the connections in the step 5 making the connections here two methods are there first method is applicable only for a b a b type sequence if it is a b b a type sequence this method is not applicable okay in this method what we will do is we will make connections from valve outlet to the ports of the cylinder very simple here connect v1 to 1 v2 to 2 v3 to 3 and v4 to 4 okay it's very simple so with this is v1 its outlet okay here i will take the connection like this like this isn't it so v1 is connected to 1 v2 is connected to 2 v2 is connected to port 2 v3 is connected to port 3 where is port 3 here v3 is connected to port 3 and v4 v4 is connected to port 4 this is port 4 port 4 is connected to v4 so likewise we can directly connect valves and ports v1 to 1 v2 to 2 v3 to 3 and v4 to 4 so this is possible if it is a b a b type sequence okay but if it is a b b a type sequence what we should do if it is a b b a type circuit then we have to draw one more sketch here we need 4 by 2 double pilot operated valve and we should take the connections like this so they can, again this particular figure and this figure so common to any type of sequence only the thing is we have to number the valves and we have to number the ports of the cylinders okay and if it is a b b a type sequence then we have to get ready with this figure also okay this figure is very simple to understand nothing to worry so this is 4 by 2 valve double pilot valve one is pilot p1 one is pilot p2 and 4 by 2 it is having four ports pump port a port b port and tank port now take two lines like this from port a and port b okay and you take uh, three connections here okay and first connection goes to one directly okay second connection goes to two and the third connection it goes to the pilot p2 of this valve due to the pressure of oil when valve 3 is pressed the pressure is exerted to the pilot p2 of the 4 by 2 valve due to which the valve shifts its uh, position previously it was p2a b2t now it will change its position to p2b a2t okay like this due to which oil starts flowing to b now previously it was flowing to a now it will flow to b and here also from b first direct connection it goes to port 3 of the cylinder and then it flows to port 4 via this v4 so this figure this is common for any type of sequence okay the thing is after the drawing this one just we have to make the connection one is connected to one here this two is connected to two and this three is to be connected to three three is connected to three four is connected to four this is here is four four should be taken to Four. so like this we will make the connections and regarding connections to the walls it is shown here symbolically okay actually from here this is v2 let us say v2 okay v2 is symbolically shown here this is inlet this is outlet that means 
We should take the connection from inlet here and this outlet should be taken to this, this outlet should be taken to 2, isn't it? From here it should go to 2. So that is shown here symbolically. So that's why we don't want to worry about it. Okay, you have understood how to draw the circuit. Now we shall understand how the circuit functions with the help of this animation. By the end of this retraction of cylinder A, the valve V1 is pressed. Once the valve V1 is pressed, hydraulic oil starts flowing to that valve V1. This valve V1 is pressed. So now there is no flow of hydraulic oil here, isn't it? Okay. Once the valve V1 is pressed, oil starts flowing. Oil starts flowing to valve V1. Okay. See here. Okay. Now oil is flowing to valve V1. And valve V1 is pressed, it opens. And due to which oil flows out to the pilot P1. Previously, this was the position. Previously, this was the position. P to B, A to T connection was there. Now, once the oil flows to this pilot P1, the position of 4 by 2 valve changes like this. Now, P to A, B to T connection is made. Due to which, now oil starts flowing to port 1 here of this cylinder A so that the cylinder A starts extending. When valve V1 is pressed, P to A, B to T connection is made so that first oil starts flowing to port 1 of cylinder A and cylinder A starts extending. Okay, the cylinder A extends and the cam operates the valve V2 now. So when the valve V2 is pressed, oil starts flowing to port 2 of this double acting cylinder so that the cylinder B starts extending. And by the end of this extension, the cam operates the valve V3. So when V3 is pressed, oil under pressure flows to the pilot P2. Pilot P2. Due to which the spool of this 4x2 valve shifts to the second position. Like this. Now there is connection from P to B, A to T. Oil starts flowing to B and oil flows directly to B port of this cylinder B that is to the port 3 so cylinder starts retracting cylinder starts retracting by the end of this retraction the cam will press the valve V4 once the valve V4 is pressed oil starts flowing through that valve V4 to port 4 that is B port of cylinder A so that the cylinder A starts retracting cylinder A starts retracting and once that retraction completes okay the valve V1 is pressed valve V1 is pressed by the cam again the cycle starts so we shall see the animation look here cylinder A is extending cylinder B will extend and B will retract B will retract and A will retract 